Want to make your YouTube video's background look better with not so expensive and simple light solution? You have come to the right video. So let's go. What's up everyone, this is me Tahir and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to talk about how you can make your YouTube video background, especially in studio-like environment, look better with not so expensive light. When I used to watch YouTube videos before starting this whole channel, I always used to wonder like how these reviewers or vloggers make their background look so good. And when I got into YouTube and started learning things and I learned there are two things which can make your background looks really good. Number one is keep it simple and clean and make Make sure there is not too much going around in your background and it's not messy. Number two, the lighting of course in the background. It can change the whole aspect or feel or vibe of your video. If you are watching my recent videos, you probably would have noticed I use sometimes one or two light in the background. So it's time to share which light I use and here it is. I use Godox R1 RGB light. It's small, powerful and it's not that expensive. I bought this thing in Sydney for about $120. The other light I use is Sunway Photo light with green gel paper which is currently being used in the background. I showed you guys this LED light in what's in my camera bag video. If you haven't watched that video, here's the link in the corner. Firstly, let me show you what's inside the box when you get this thing. So let's go. Inside the box, you will find of course the light itself along with the magnetic dome diffuser, a USB type C charging cable and for hook and loop adhesive discs. Now it's time for the specs. The weight is around 150 grams. It has color adjustment setting of hue and saturation from 0 to 100. Just the brightness from of course 0 to 100 percent. With this light you'll get the color temperature from 2500 Kelvin to 8500 Kelvin. It has 1800 milliamp hour battery which gives you up to 1.5 hours of battery life depending on what brightness setting you are using this. It has USB type C charging port and a space to mount this thing on tripod. There are three main modes in this light. The first one is the RGB mode. You can create any color that you need for your video or photos by adjusting the hue, color saturation and brightness. The second mode is the CCT mode. You can adjust this R1 LED light from tungsten to balanced daylight which is 2500 Kelvin to 8500 Kelvin. And the third is music mode. Music mode is one of the special effects in this light. It gives you the ability to have the light pulse with the sound of the music. There are 14 built-in special effects and each have two or three modes in them, delivering a total of 39 different effects. The core 14 special effects are RGB cycle, flash, laser, lightning, broken bulb, TV, candle, fire, firework and many more. Okay, specs are done. It's time for the performance. <music> Well, since I've bought this thing, it hasn't disappointed me yet. It charges quickly, battery life is pretty great and comes with a dome diffuser, which is pretty handy to keep the light even and not too sharp. It's time for the test to see the performance. Okay, on the count of three, the background lights will change. So let's go. One, two, three. Here we go. And now I'm using the Godox light in the back with the conjunction with Sunway Photo light, which is being used with, of course, the green gel paper. Time for the final thoughts. In my opinion, this tiny light is great compared to the price you are paying for the other lights in the competition with this. For example, Aperture or other brands are a bit expensive and almost do the same job. Considering the performance along with the accessories and the specification, it's a pretty great deal and you won't miss out anything in particular by buying this light. So that's it from my side. I I hope this was informative for you guys and I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is me Tahir signing out. Until next time, see ya.